instrumental variables are one kind of identification strategy, and identification is the way that economists use econometrics to establish causality. In this case, we're trying to test whether participation in war causes depression, and of course our causality skeptic radar in our brain goes off and comes up with a million different reasons why any correlation between these two things might not necessarily be causal. For example, it could be that the type of person who's prone to depression is more likely to sign up to go to war, um, which would be reverse causation. There could be a million different other um, alternative causal pathways. So we want to know if this is an accurate causal pathway. We're going to establish causality using an instrument, which is a third variable that has an association with our independent variable or our explanatory variable. But this third variable should have absolutely no association with our response variable or our dependent variable. Absolutely no association there, except through the means of our independent variable or explanatory variable. In this case, our instrument is going to be a person's draft number. And we know that people can sign up for war even if they're not drafted, many do. Um, but if you're drafted, the lower your draft number is, the more likely it is that you will end up in war. And of course, not everybody who's drafted ends up going to war. Some people get out because they're in seminary or um, for, for many other reasons, medical reasons, for example. But certainly the draft number is going to be highly correlated with war participation. So there's no association, no theoretical association between the draft number and depression, but a strong association between the draft number and war participation. And the draft number and the instrument is our source of exogenous variation. It's our source of randomness, hence the dice. How does this work from an econometric standpoint? Well, we're going to use a two-stage least squares process, and I'm going to walk you through how that works. The first stage of our two-stage least squares process is going to be a regression between our instrument, the draft number, and war participation. And that regression has war participation on the left-hand side of the equation and draft number on the right-hand side of the equation. We come up with beta naught and beta 1, beta 1 being the coefficient on draft number here, or the degree of correlation between these two things. And using beta naught, beta 1, and data from our draft numbers, we come up with war hat. And war hat is very different from war. War is actual data about whether or not these people went to war. War hat is a prediction of the probability that this person went to war based only on their draft number and these coefficients, beta naught and beta 1. That's what war hat represents. We've essentially gotten rid of, war, of, of actual war participation, and we only have this random element, the instrument, um, predicting war hat. And then our second stage of our two-stage least squares has depression, our dependent variable, or our response variable, on the left-hand side of the equation. And the right-hand side of the equation has war hat, so it's the predicted probability of going to war based only on our instrument. And because of that, this second regression is going to capture um, this causal mechanism. It's going to capture um, the fact that if there is a correlation between this instrument and depression, we've already decided theoretically there should be no correlation other than through this causal mechanism. So if beta 3 down here is significant, then that shows us there is in fact a causal pathway between those two. And of course with instrumental variables, um, you're going to have to make an argument, a theoretical argument, for this setup. You're going to have to theoretically argue that there's no way that these two things could be causal except through this mechanism, and that's actually a pretty hard thing to argue generally. So there is a lot of debate on whether something's a good instrument or a bad instrument, but this is the general process if you're talking about instrumental variables.